Jordan and Eric. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, Jordan, let's start with you. Have uh, Can you set up the premise of the film and talk a little bit about, um, you know, first specifically kind of a little bit of the, the plot of the film, but also kind of the larger themes that you're trying to explore? Uh, yes. So it's about an American social psychologist played by Eric, um, who is working in a university in Berlin and he has his daughter over for the summer uh, to, uh, I think, do a bit of summer school. But uh, he is currently estranged from his wife, soon to be ex-wife, and the family is in a pretty messy situation. So this is meant to be a kind of a rebonding uh, moment for them both. But then right, right as uh, she gets there, his head is turned by a um, alluring colleague that he's working with and chaos ensues. And then his daughter also meets a sort of uh, uh, a young boy first day that she's in town and and then it all goes horribly wrong. <laughs> yeah. Eric, talk a little bit about your character and what drew you to play uh, this father at, uh, in this role. Well, first of all, selfishly, I just I loved it as a as a film goer. It's exactly the kind of film I I want to see and that I love, and the kind of size of film that I love to be a part of. Um, and I, I loved Jordan's writing. I loved all the dialogue between both Ben and Nina and Ben and Mazzy. I loved the the, the father daughter dynamic that it was complex and real and a bit a bit sort of rough and it wasn't just all lovey dovey it had this had this great tension to it and the world you know the 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 just the the, the um deep dive into isolation and and cults and what that does to our psyche and how vulnerable we all are now this this need to be to be loved and be part of something yeah i, th I could say for both of you um Talk a little because it does really interestingly explore this issue of kind of groupthink and how people operate when they're when they think they're being called to a to a higher purpose. Um, mm -hmm. For both of you, talk a little bit about what you you think the film has to say on that topic about you know people sort of losing their identity to a bigger group. I mean, I you know I was sort of coming from a place of. I started to kind of scratch the surface and then, you know, obviously pandemic happened and all of a sudden all of these, you know, interesting themes that I was researching started to kind of, you know, come to the forefront of everybody's talking point, I guess. And suddenly, you know, people are coming out of the woodwork or being exposed, cults are being exposed and, you know, nefarious organizations are being exposed and it, I was, you know, was just really fascinated with why and how rational, intelligent humans can get drawn into, you know, what is uh, essentially just becomes, you know, nonsensical, um, I don't know, the nonsensical ramblings of, of a crazy person. <laughs> Um, but, you know, it's, I think, just an, an increasingly kind of dangerous world, I guess, that we all find ourselves in. I mean, the world's always been dangerous, but, you know, peaks and valleys and, you know, as as the kind of uh, the world got more precarious, I think these organizations just sort of, you know, grew and flourished, mm -hmm. offering a kind of safe haven. Yeah, I, I thought it was very clever by Jordan to make the cult something that was seemingly full of good. Yeah, you know, they were concerned for the planet, they were concerned for the environment, they were they were wanting to help 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 things heal. And it's like, yeah, what's wrong with that? You know, and it sort of plants this seed that that even well intentioned things can can become, in essence, a, a cult. You know, yeah. if we if, if you take it to the extreme, and I thought that was really really interesting. Um, and and very smart, Jordan. Very smart. Thank you. <laughs> um, for both of you, did you have a, a scene that was, you know, your favorite to, to act in, to direct? What 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 scene for you was the most crucial and why? Mm. I let you go first. <laughs> oh, I was licking my lips at all of it when I read this. <laughs> it was just so so many great 
great moments and great scenes that I knew would be great. One of my favourite lines actually is is the very beginning of the film where he's talking to the young girl who's locked in her apartment and yeah. she's, she's espousing all her conspiracy theories and then she ends with, I can send you a link. Yeah. And I remember the first conversation I had with Jordan is my favourite line in the film because everyone after the pandemic could relate to that notion that someone had gone down a rabbit hole and and they were going to force a link upon you. It's like, no. Exactly. <laughs> that was definitely one of my favourite scenes. The opener. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Jordan, did you, is that, do you have a different one for yourself? Um, I mean, I think that that was my favourite Ben scene. Um there's a oh, there's a scene by the lake that I can't, I can't say what it is, but there's you know it's it's a couple down by the lake and you think something nice is going to happen and then it doesn't. Um, but it's a very very emotional sort of fairy tale, like dark fairy tale type of a scene, which I absolutely love um, between two of the cult members. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, th so that that's uh, maybe another question for you about, you know, how you sort of build that level of tension and surprise in the film as it sort of goes along. Uh, you know, maybe it starts, you think this is a, a nice relationship, but there may be something a little bit off about it, but it really escalates, shall we say, by the end. Uh, yeah. how, how do you build that sort of level of, of tension and surprise? I think very carefully. It... <laughs> It's a lot of it came together in the edit because I think when we were shooting it, we'd sort of, you know, try things like a, a little less obvious, maybe a little more obvious. And just then it becomes a, a little bit of alchemy later on, just trying to kind of drip feed the the intrigue without giving the game away, without giving the, the characters kind of uh, real motivations away. Um, but yeah, it, it had to be handled subtly. <laughs> yeah well I, I think it was you were successful on that score certainly uh jordan and eric thank you so much for taking time to talk to us i really enjoyed the film thanks eric thanks for watching the you interview channel with over 3,000 original celebrity videos we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere so remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel if you want to get more involved you can become a member of the channel membership has its perks you can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.